Hello, welcome back. Let's talk about being high. No, not that being high. Hyperglycemia, which is high blood glucose. Um, why don't we take a walk and I'll tell you about one of the highest blood sugars I've ever had and what I did to achieve that. High blood glucose is usually considered something above 11 in the UK. Um, that's after you've eaten, maybe two hours after you've eaten. Um, if you're fasting, if you have a blood glucose above 8, then that's usually considered high as well. Um, but today I'm talking about a high blood glucose I had. Going back a few years, um, I was going out with a young lady and we were just planning on going to have a meal out somewhere in the evening and pop back afterwards. Um, things took a slight twist. Um, I've forgotten to take my insulin pen with me so I thought that's okay we'll just we'll just eat it'll be fine and I'll go back and inject when I get home that didn't happen um, we spent the entire evening <laughs> in many bars and clubs dancing away um, having much alcohol and eventually stumbling back home at about 2 a.m. Um, to find that I have, I'll take a, I'll take a blood test, a, a blood sugar test when I get home. So I find that I have a glucose of 36, which is slightly high. In fact, it's more than slightly high. It's stupidly high. Um, before going out, my sugars were a steady, I think it was 8, so yeah, I was expecting it to be high, but that just showed the effects of eating a large meal, having alcohol for hours on end, and not doing anything about it. So if you take a lesson, if you want to learn a lesson, inject, take your pen out with you, take your pump out with you. And inject your meds. Oh, I was fine, by the way. I wasn't ill. I was, I was hungover, absolutely hungover the following day. But I wasn't ill because of that high blood glucose, which was amazing. Because that sort of level of high glucose can cause all sorts of complications some quite fatal ones as well um, including ketoacidosis um, obviously high glucose can cause long-term complications for diabetics including organ failure uh, eye damage as I well know uh, yeah limb loss blood clots all kinds of fun stuff so if you are, if you're newly diagnosed type 1 <clears throat> and you don't think you have high blood sugar because you have a sugar that's in the teens, you do. So deal with it. Okay, I'm just off to do some work into town. Um, it's wet and windy today in England, which is a typical Engl English summer's day. Um, when I get back, I'll tell you about the symptoms of high of hyperglycemia 
Okay, apologies for those outdoor shots. Um, it was wet, windy, and I didn't want to get my phone damaged outside. So um, we'll continue anyway. Let's talk about uh, symptoms of hyperglycemia. Um, when I was first diagnosed, the main thing that I had was thirst so so thirsty all the time i could not get enough liquids down my neck um other things were fatigue i was tired all the time i wanted to sleep um i was going to the toilet all the time you would just you would just pee your body away when you have a hyperglycemia um you will feel confused at some stage um You'll feel weak as well. You might get headaches, uh, blurred vision, um, even things like stomach pain, vomiting, lots and lots of nasty, nasty symptoms. That's hyperglycemia. That's one of the uh, more stupid incidents that I told you about um, that I had earlier in my life. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Tofu Tommy again today for his advice on upper body exercises. I am working on them. My abs hurt like they hurt. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, you can sub over there. And if you want to watch more, there'll be another one over there. See you next time. Bye for now.